Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my car build and tune in the episodes. It's been a very, very, very long time uh, since I last made a car build in June episodes, and I do apologize. Uh, but we're gonna go in right now. Uh, trying to think what car. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a Nissan something. Um, I'm sure there's a Nissan I haven't made yet. Uh, I just want to, I want a car that I can pull out and I know it's going to be good. And I think Nissan would be probably the best brand to go with right now. Okay, so let's jump it. There we go, Nissan. Alright, GTR. Should we go for a GTR maybe? Uh, we haven't made an R34 yet. No, we actually haven't made an R34 yet. So I'm going to go ahead and make an R34 to be honest. Uh, I don't know how they drift on this game, uh, but seeing as we haven't made one before, why not? Let's just go ahead for it. Let's go ahead, bro. Uh, let's see if there's any nice paints in here. I kind of want like a drift missile one. But I don't know if there will be any in here. Uh, I was trying to go online to do this episode, but I couldn't get online. I don't know what happened, uh, but I couldn't. Let's just go for that one for now, but I, I might change it in the future. Um, it looks a little bit leave it, but oh, we'll just go for it. Um, but yeah, the online seems to be down, or it might just be my connection. I might have to restart my modem or something. Uh, because I was trying to join a few people's games, and it's just saying, nope. It's like, nope, it's not happening, nope. <laughs> so yeah. We've got this car. Um, hopefully it will save pretty soon, because this took a very long time. And we could jump into the tune. So let's leave the auto show and head over to the garage and start slapping on the upgrades so some white wheels on here white hey, wheels I, I do like white wheels do very 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 nice okay custom upgrade here we go so we want to go to conversion we want to go to the drivetrain and we want to make it real drive we don't want, we're not that all-wheel drive life we're not about that so engine swap V8 I'm gonna V8 it I'm doing it 455 horsepower slapped on the V8 in this bad boy. Okay, so no turbocharger, uh, just a standard V8. Um, bumpers, let's have a look, see if there's any interesting ones around here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I kind of like the Nismo one. Top secret looks nice as well. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Nismo. Nismo looks very nice. It's got that black little lip on the bottom as well, which I like. Uh, top secret. Uh, so let's go for the the D-winged version because I am gonna get a like a drift missile paint on this. This looks a little bit better than this paint, uh, hopefully, uh, which I will be putting on this. So to have a no wing kind of matches the. Um, it matches. Sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate while talking and it's just like, it's not happening. Uh, so let's go to the top secret rear. I like those little side thingies. And on this, whoa, what do we do on here? Okay. Top secret, don't like that. Let's go to Nismo side. Actually, do you know what? I'm changing that rear bumper. That does not go with the rest of the car. Let's just go to Nismo, all round Nismo kit. Uh, pretty sensible option. Uh, so you can put over kit you want to put on, basically. Uh, it's completely up to you. Okay, tire compound. I'm going to stick with a stock tire compound. Um, tire sizes. Let's go 275s on the front. And on the rears, we can go 285s. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, we could come down in the front, I suppose. Let's go 265s on the front, 285s in the rear. Nice dis uh, distribution right there. And now onto some rims. Trying to think what would suit this. Uh, kind of like a multi-spoke kind of rim. Probably look the best. Um, kind of, I don't know. Kind of, like, kind of like those. Let's just go for those. No point going through trying to find more. Uh, go for those. I never really used those before. <laughs> I don't recognize them from anywhere, so... It's good to be using a new rim, I suppose. So, 19 inch on the front, and on the rear we can go 19 inch as well. So, that is that. That is the visuals of the car done, I suppose. Um, into the drivetrain. Everything in drivetrain is going to be raised, so... 
go through and do that bad boy. Uh, make sure you don't do the off-road transmission because it kills your car uh, if you're into drifting. Um, I've made that mistake many a time um, and I didn't even notice. <laughs> I was generally trying to tune the car and it wasn't working and I was so confused. Um, but I saw when I made my next car that you could choose the off-road transmission which kind of kind of annoying but you could also do off-road uh, suspension as well so watch out for that we want the race suspension that looks absolutely sweet with those rims maybe I might stick with this paint I'll see if there's any different ones but this paint's kind of grown on me it's grown on me very very nice a very nice Hoonigan sticker on the side as well so it's all wins so let's put a, a cage in it in weight reduction we can slap on 1200 kilograms right there that is that and now Wow, that car's looking absolutely sick. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's probably one of the nice looking cars I've probably got on the game right there. Um, how much power have we got? 465. So if we push it to about 550, probably be, probably be about spot on to be honest. Um, so let's keep doing this. Uh, let's do camshafts. They will maximize the horsepower a lot. So there we go, 565. Absolutely spot on for what we're aiming for. Uh, race flywheel, absolutely fine. So 1,100 kilos. Uh, we could do a little, little bit of an upgrade. Let's go intake and manifold. Uh, 581 horsepower. Let's go for that. Uh, should we push it over the 600? I don't think we should. Nah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Over 600 horsepower. Uh, pistons and compressions will do it. Oh, there we go. Uh, 598 horsepower. Absolutely gravy. Oh yes, baby. Gravy. Um, uh, uh, 600 to, uh, 611 horsepower. There we go. So we're over the 600 mark. And we're going to have plenty of power in this. Bad boy. Yo. Bad boy. Yo. So yeah, it's getting a little bit dark on my webcam. <laughs> I just noticed. I uh, should have really turned my light on. But yeah. Turn my lights on. Ooh. So yeah, it's raining! Is anyone shocked? Probably not, because it always rains when I go to record. Um, so where should we head? Where should we head? Should we head over to the nice airfield area uh, to do some nice, nice lines, yo. Nice lines, yo. Oh yeah, nice lines, bro. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, okay. I hope this car comes out very nice, because I do like an R34. Absolutely beautiful car, as you can probably tell by the way it looks right now. Absolutely beautiful. So it's still raining. It's raining over in the airfield as well. Okay, we got the we got enough power in this. We got enough power. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's get going with this. See how it feels as stock. It feels very very loose on the front wheel. Um, on my wheel. So the front wheels. Um, lacking a little bit of grip there, uh, but that's just a personal, personal, um, personal thing right there. Uh, a lot of people might like the lesser feel in the wheel, uh, but I like it to be a little bit stronger than this. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that felt pretty sick to be honest. <laughs> okay, so let's change the front tire pressures down. The rear felt fine. It's spinning up how I want it. Uh, the gearing felt fine as well. Alignment, we're going to leave it for now. Um, springs is already quite a stiff car. Uh, we could make it a little bit stiffer, I suppose. Uh, and other than that, and ride height all the way to the bottom. Uh, I don't really want to adjust this car too much, seeing as it did feel quite nice then. Um, when I make these slight adjustments, we can see how it feels um, after that. So let's give it another run. Oh, I just got the silver wristband, bro. So yeah, I think I've still got to come down. Come down with the tyre pressures in the front. It just feels far... Yeah, there's no, there was no reactions then. Which was a little bit, a little bit weird. But all we have to do is just take down the tyre pressures. Get a little bit more feeling into the wheel. It's holding that angle very nice there. Um... 
like I said, it's very, very easy to tune cars on this game. To be honest, you don't need to really tune cars. Um, you just fine tune them to suit your needs. Like this, that I'm just adjusting the front wheels. Maybe on the controller, you might want the extra tire pressure, but on the wheel, um, I like it to be a little bit more of a fight. So front tire pressures, they're coming down because uh, it feels a lot better in the wheel. Okay, nicey nicey. Uh, I'm going to come down with the tyre pressures in the rear to match the front a tiny bit because it felt a little bit overpowering, let's say. Yeah, so let's just down this. To, let's go 29, see if that feels a lot better. Uh, gearing felt it felt a little bit short that time, so I'm just going to make it a tiny bit longer. Let's go to like 3.45, that should be fine. Um, all this, I don't want to touch it. I normally touch all that, but to be honest, it felt, it felt it feels good. Like the angle you can hold. I didn't see the point of changing it. Very nice, very nice. That feels a very, very, very nice car. Very nice car, bro. Okay. <laughs> Some of the shit I come out with. I'm going to put a camera on the front a tiny bit. And I'll up the camera in the rear just to match that. Um, caster, we can go five. Um, go up to six, sorry. But other than that, I don't see the point of changing anything. Um, so let's just go. Let's just go again and see if that camera made it. It's made, it's made a... Slight adjustment, yeah, just slight adjustment, bro. Whoa, very wide, very, 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 very wide. Wow, that feels absolutely amazing. I think this car's hit the spot right now. Oh yeah, baby. This car is on point right now. It looks the nuts. It feels the nuts. It drifts like the nuts. Look at that. Look at that angle. That was so smooth. Absolutely amazing. Oh fuck, that was my fault. And yeah, I'm liking this car so much. I'm liking this car. It's got the transitions, it's snappy transitions. It's got the power for it. Um, it's got the grip as well. It's got the stableness. It can hold angle like that. Oh yeah, this car's got all all the hallmarks you need. Um, so yeah. I just went through a container. Just <laughs> what the fuck? Um, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, next car build and tuning episode will be up to you guys. Leave a comment on this video saying what car you want to see next episode, and we will do it. We will do it, bro. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.